Everybody wants change. Our country is really doing poorly. We're a laughing stock all over the world, and we're going to get that change very quickly. And this has been some uh, incredible evening before it even starts, because people, they wanted to contribute to a cause of making America great again. And they did contribute. Donald Trump raking in more than $50 million. That is a record haul in his first major fundraiser since clinching the GOP nomination. Our next guest was there, former 2024 presidential candidate, North Dakota governor, Doug Burgum joins us now. Governor, thanks for being here. You were there. Take us inside the room. What was, what was the atmosphere like? Well, Pete, uh, first of all, there was no room. It was outside, but I would say uh, it wasn't just energizing. It was actually inspirational. Uh, being with all of these incredible job creators, people that have, uh, many people that started with nothing, they've lived the American dream, they've given back to their communities, they've created, created you know, countless jobs around our country, and, and they're concerned about the future under Joe Biden. They're concerned about uh, their kids and their grandkids and the people that work for them. And, and, it, and that part was very inspirational to see that the depth of the caring that people have, and they, and they know and understand that uh, we're headed in the wrong direction under Joe Biden and with the President Trump, uh, we're going to get this country going again. The world will be safer and more prosperous under President Trump. It's about as simple as that. Governor, I got to believe a lot of the donors at the event were not originally Trump supporters. So what was the mix of people and, and what does it say about the consolidation of support? Well, certainly it was the uh, a night of, of unification, a night of support. In some ways, it's the official kickoff of this campaign. Uh, and among the donors, there was people there that have known President Trump for 30, 40, 50 years. Uh, there's people that have come into the fold more recently, but they're all, all united. And of course, uh, uh, Laura Trump and the RNC, Michael Watney there last night, uh, the coordination between the Trump campaign and the RNC, giving people confident confidence that uh, when they're investing, that it's going to help drive towards victory in the fall. And it was in that sense, it was also inspirational because I think that there's a, a real unification of the party around uh, what needs to happen in November. Governor, you just said it, what needs to happen. What needs to happen for the Trump campaign, for the RNC? What, if you were to give one recommendation, hey guys, let's focus on this to get the win, what would it be? Well, I think there's two things that the RNC is focused on, and that's get out the vote, and then it's protect the vote. And getting out the vote, the, the depth of energy, the intensity, when I've had a chance to uh, go around the country in recent weeks uh, in places like Clark County, Nevada, the, the, the voter intensity and support for President Trump is deep. And as you know, it cuts across you know, all demographics uh, we're seeing right now where Trump is winning with groups that he was by larger margins than he ever has been before. But part of it is because the citizen, the average person that's working, they know that under Joe Biden's inflation, uh, if they've got savings, they've lost 30 percent of its value, and they know that it's costing more to put food on the table, gas in their car, pay for their electric bill. Uh, so they understand they they understand that they were better off under President Trump than they are uh, than they are right now under under Joe Biden. And these voters, they trust President Trump on the border. They trust him on the economy. They trust that he's going to be tough on China. They trust that he's going to be help make our city safer. Uh, they, they trust him that he's going to be able to stop the wars. And so on all the things that matter to voters right now, uh, President Trump is winning. So the voter intensity is there, but we've also got to make sure that we protect the vote uh, and make sure that, that the voting that actually happens, the votes get counted correctly. Protect the vote big time. You're exactly right. That's got to be a huge focus in November. Governor Doug Burgum and before, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you, Pete. You got it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.